14 points the difference in favour of Collingwood. Williams putting through his first goal. Chance for Conlon. Breaks the tackle well from centre field. Mickey Conlon up towards the Joy centre half forward position. Perch there. Gets the ball to the ground. Abernathy in the road. Chance for Phillips playing well in the first quarter. Socket away again by Conlon. Up it goes to his mate Barwick. Barwick has a shot at goal. That looks pretty good. Goal. Collingwood 20 points to Fitzroy 6. Oh, there's a strong mark. And that was taken by McGrath. He's a good player this year. Well, though, he, the last time we were here and they played against, I think it was Essendon, he played a magnificent game at centre-half forward. Back it goes again. Gafer in front. Both he and uh, tap back again. as a go for Rosman now. He's kicked it off the ground. He's got one. Well, that's one blemish against Gafer. On the 22-minute mark, the ball back into play. Pert playing on... Uh, on the Taylor now as the ball comes back the umpire's found a free kick it'll go to Fitzroy it'll be Pekin to take the free kick out there at half back short pass or hand pass over to Thornton in plenty of trouble he goes wide the ball punched away that time by Garrison and it's finally driven up there by Fitzroy over the half forward line off grabbed by Laurie a short pass looking for Barbie he grabs it beautifully runs to an open goal and it's through for a goal. His shot at goal is going close. Not close enough. Leon Harris. Right back pocket. Conlon. Away from Tony Shaw. Now tries to get around him. Backs his pace. Which he's got plenty of. Conlon's kick. Up to McGrath. Playing behind Co. Phillips. Grabbed arguably a little bit low. But no free kicks as the umpire. It will be a boundary throw in. Oh, I don't know what's going to do to get a free kick. Co gets it out to Garrison, kicked off the ground by Garrison, coming in as Turner. Over it goes to Barwick, a quick hand pass. Over it goes to Knight, back to McGraw, a long shot at goal. And he's on target, it's a goal. Well, if that wasn't a free kick for the Fitzroy play, I'll give the game away. 11 goals, 672, Collingwood. The Fitzroy doing a lot better now, 5 goals, 333. That comes out, got under that one, as a go for Ricky Barr. That one by Dacos. Down goes Dacos, got one on the head, he stopped. Stunned him a bit. Picked up here by McIver, a hand pass coming over now to uh, Pert. Pert's kick is off the side of his boot, but still gathers a bit of distance. Punched out by Abernathy, got one in the back, and he'll get a free kick. Out comes Turner. Tried to find Knight with the hand pass, but couldn't do so. It's picked up by, Bernie, uh, by Leon Harris. Up towards centre field. Hand pass finds Codlin. That was from McGrath. Codlin twisting and turning. Gets around Seo. Abernathy has recovered. Not a good pass. Barwick, well, he had his head taken off there. Tries to get around Kerrison. Does so. In towards the square. Osborne at the back. Mark almost taken by Keane and suck it off the oh, ground. Got to pay that mark, Pete. That was a great mark by Keane. And great play by Barwick, too, just the same. He has a fight on the boundary line again. Well, it's been on all day, Pete, all around the ground, hasn't it? It has. It started even before the siren heralded the first quarter. Let's watch that mark again by Keane. Great mark. Landed rather heavily. But Keane has the chance to bring up Fitzroy's first goal of the third quarter, and to say that they needed one would be the understatement of the day. Good kick, this fellow. Not that there's any doubt of he'll get the distance from there. It's a goal for Troy's sixth, and a badly needed one, certainly. Well, they'll have to rattle the tins a bit harder, it would appear, for Fitzroy. In front is Banks again, Ruse knocks that one clear, Harris fires out the hand pass, it's picked up by Pekin, by Laurie rather. Gay for an Osman, Osman playing in front this time from his shadow, takes the mark right on the 40 metre line. The scoreboard in the background doesn't look too good from a Fitzroy point of view, Osman decides to get the ball moving quickly. A long shot at goal from 40 metres out is going close. It's a goal, says the goal umpire. So Osborne puts through his second of the day. 15-8 to 7-8, 48 points the difference. Camorwood again, tapped on beautifully that time by Laurie. Followed up well, trying to find uh, Conlon, but coming in to meet it now is Knight, but Morwood's still there. They overrun the ball. Lots of fortune for Collingwood. Morwood picks it up, but Abernathy couldn't grab it. Tapped on by Harris. Knocked.
tipped on again by Pert after he missed it back to McGrath. A hand pass coming back to Conlon. The tank that's fly at the goals. And I think he might be successful. He's got it through for a goal. They badly need it. As it goes out wide towards the wing position, coming out there as Turner. Couldn't grab the mark. Tried to get it the second time, but good play as he gets it over to Pert. Oh, really a mark to Phillips. Is he paying that? He's not. Picked up by Graham Osborne again. Over it goes to Barwick. Spins away from Shaw. A long kick up towards Graham Osborne and Gafer. It'll go through for a goal. Not a, not a bad sort of a kick from Graham Osborne. A goal. So you can say that was a badly needed one. That was, I mean, uh, from uh, Barwick. 18 30. 121. To 9 10 64. There is a replay. It was a long shot. That's goal number three for Barwick. He's among the good players, but the rest are certainly missing here today. And we got about uh, uh, five. McCormack, out wide, too long for McMullen, taken by Richard Osborne, uh, Graham Osborne, at the centre wing. Oh, Pert and Abernathy collide. McIver, Pert again. Abernathy uh, decides to even up. Kerrison, not a good hand pass, straight into the pack, picked up by Knight. Knight's kick is a high one down towards left half for the tank, and Mickey Conlon takes it. He's got plenty of room. Away he goes. 40 metres out. Has a shot at goal. It's going pretty close and has gone through for a goal. Richard Osmond taps the ball down. It's picked up by Boss. And a good mark. Must be taken. Must be paid, I should say. Just got MacGyver. So MacGyver across the half forward line. He's about 60 metres out from goal. The lead from Quinlan, but ignored that the first time. And then when Quinlan went the other way and led again, that uh, pass, a real grass cutter. And the Quinlan showing that age, if you're a great athlete, doesn't really matter. <laughs> I thought that just about hurt, Bernie. Gonna get up after this. Let's see what he can do. The great player. Drop point. He misses the He hasn't missed that one. The Lions are on the board. Then gets the kick to half forward. Paul Roos under no pressure takes the ball. Another of the great. There are the two boys. Two great players. Pert and Roos. Out wide to birthday Cooper. Quickly on. McIver. Clayton. The kick. Oh, it's a good one too. McGrath takes it at half four. And suddenly Fitzroy are starting to get their game into motion. The passionate pleas in the past weeks from people from all walks of life to keep the club afloat. But this time of the week, Saturday afternoon, it comes back to the players. McGrath's kick straight through the middle. Strength shown by Boss as he forged the ball forward. But uh, the ball will go against him. It'll be taken by Dean Turner. Straight into the middle to Billy Loken. Loken, the long hand pass across, is effective. That was from Pekin. Now to the half forward line. The Lions into attack. Harris gets himself under pressure, then puts Billy Loken under a ton of pressure. They might lose it here if they're not careful. It's Philip Knight. Gets them out of trouble. Pass to McIver it goes. Who can pick it up? Morgan goes in there now. The hurried kick comes from Conlon. Deep into the square. Good kick by Mick Conlon. Goes over the top. Kept in by McGrath. His short kick to Quinlan. Now, Bernie, you do like these. He snaps with the left foot. He hooks it back. I said he liked them. He loves them. Oh, thank you, says Bernie. Wendell gets the tap. Harris. Clayton across to Conlon. A long kick from Conlon. Quinlan, Osmond at the back. Should have stayed down. Quinlan was up, but it comes out to Osmond. It's taken off him by Mitchell. Kicked off the ground by Richard Osmond. Four points off the ground for his first goal. From the bounce. Mossop gets the tap. And Geelong penalised as Morgan couldn't get the ball clear. And so Matt Rendell. A good tackle by Rendell. Swings the ball in towards the centre, hoping for McGrath. Over the back it comes. Barwick taps the ball forward.
gets a favourable bounce and breaks through the tackle from centre half forward. Barwick goes down towards the square and the mark taken right in the square, only five metres out, directly in the middle of the goal square, and that is Richard Osborne, who I'm sure will bring up his second goal. Kick from Richard Osborne, there's no doubt about that. The goal umpire did not move, and Richard Osborne kicks his second. What about going short? Now it does go short. Oh. And Carey, I think the took it, lost it. It's picked up by Richard Osborne, a snap towards goal. Can and it? that is a ripper. Well, there's the folly of short passes from fullback. Three goals for the quarter to Richard Osborne. Steve Carey did a great job in the first term, but uh, dropped it at the wrong time just then. And a lovely goal to Richard Osborne. Favouring Fitzroy, 6-5 to 4-5 in a most important game for both of these sides. To half forward once again, Reynoldson and Mossop go up together. Waiting down, Osborne. Clear is Conlon, across the half forward line, into the pocket goes Mick, he says, how good's this? He fires a goal and he has put it through. The Lions running hot at the moment. Mick goes down to thank Richard Osborne. That was one of those cases in Sandy where the fullback just had to leave us. And OK, it might have been a hand pass over the top, but they have to run straight at them and take the gamble, even though the Geelong player, Sam Newman, disagrees. 21 and a half minutes played, second quarter, and Fitzroy drawing away, starting to show an ascendancy. Turner again across to Leon Harris, the Lions forward, down to Bayard, cleverly tapped over the back by Bernie Quinlan, Billy in the short sleeve will go, oh, he's hit the post, back to South Australia he says, ah, oh, can you believe it, Billy, don't think anybody thought it was possible, Sandy, <laughs> you would have, you know where he comes from, you love it too, don't you, <laughs> Gary Malarkey. I think he'll short pass it. That was the drop punt towards half back. Knight, Reynoldson. Reynoldson, two grabs and couldn't take it. The hand pass. McGrath accepts it from Mitchell. Picked up by Knight. Knight goes goalward. And there's no mistake this time. Philip Knight brings up his first goal. Well, he's moved Terry Bright to the forward line in an attempt to do something down there. As the long kick goes forward, Ablett up high, but it's a Fitzroy mark. And Paul Roos takes an excellent mark in defence. What would so, you do about that forward line? Would you leave perhaps Brownless down in the in, at full forward and let Ablett have his little run round down on the forward flank area? You are right, Sandy. That's exactly what I would do. Fitzroy out of trouble. They're clear. The long kick from Jamie Cooper to the half forward line. Osmond takes the mark. They're looking dangerous again as Knight runs down. He's going to ignore him. He'll go long. Quinlan and Malarkey vying. Quinlan breaks clear into the pocket and he takes the mark. Bernie has kicked two. Let's see what he can do with this one. Tucked on the boundary line. Might need a check side. But no, favours a drop punt. What a lovely kick. What a beautiful kick. Because he goes. And the Lions are starting to do this with some ease. 9-6 plays 4-8 on Seven's big lead. I can fix them up, Sandy. <laughs> I predicted what a close game it was going to be. Yeah, that, that was the Moz. Thank and you very from, much, Bob Skill. And from that moment, Fitzroy have run hot. 9-6 to 4-8. There's Matt Wendell, an excellent player today. Mossop gets the tap that time, though. Clayton's short kick, knocked back by Mossop. Clayton held when not in possession of the ball, and Scott Clayton comes out with the free kick. Handballs immediately to Grant Laurie. Laurie goes forward and finds Scott McIver. McIver with a long hand pass to Wendell, who taps it on to Knight. Knight goes goal, well, it's a nice-looking kick, and Quinlan lets it go through. And Knight brings up his second goal. From the back pocket. Had a horror day last week. Osborne. Gives it clear to Cooper. 
Forward they go through Harris. Quinlan again, the target, thumped down. Oh, here's a chance for Billy, but he's called the advantage, and Billy will go. Logan does, straight over the Sheridan stand, and he'll kiss that football goodnight. Fitzroy go into the final term here at Victoria Park with a commanding 35-point lead. Michael Turner spent some considerable time speaking with his players after John Devine left them at three-quarter time. I wonder what effect it will have. Conlon is the first kicker of the final term as he gets it down to centre wing. Oh, Boss threw it out. Straight to Leon Harris. Back to Bill Loken and Fitzroy down to their left half forward flank once again. Bright is in front of McIver. Gives it across to Malarkey. Back to Bright. They're putting themselves under pressure. He gets a kick across the face of goal and it's marked by Barwin. And Terry Bright holds his head in shame. Doug Barwick, a chance to set Fitzroy a light in this final term and give them a break, and it will be an unbeatable break of 41 points, and that's exactly what he does. Thank you very much, he says. How good's this? Because Roos is in front and playing magical football. And this boy has had a wonderful day. Clayton, one of the best on the ground, if not the best. Turner played on, but he slipped. Puts himself under pressure, gives it across to Leon Harris. He's clear, just spurts one out up towards the center wing barwick out comes the handball and the roys are looking good as they go into this final term lopens drifted across the half forward line and he beats darcy beauty into the pocket he'll go they're running everywhere at the moment the mark is going to be paid to mitchell perhaps a little lucky on that occasion he drifted down that was the idea whether he held it or not well peter cameron said he did so two and a half minutes played final term and should he kick this one, Fitzroy fans are going to start thinking about percentage. So Mitchell being told by Loken to run down to that space. It's exactly what Mitchell did. And now Mitchell makes no mistake. Now Harris, oh, they're combining nicely. Harris will go long and direct. Quinlan sets himself and it takes a beauty. Played, Bernie. You could see he had his name written on that one. He had the ride. Saw it coming, and it was lovely disposal. So the old chap will have a shot. I don't think he'd appreciate that. It's no, he doesn't mind. He was going to be a chook farmer, you know. He's kicked three. You can make that four. Well done, Bernie Quinlan. delighted and that's uh, Laurie who kicks to half forward Keane uh, got one in the back then I thought from Kennedy but play on says the umpire play on the half forward line and swinging round now is Barwick to shoot for goal and he's put it through for Fitzroy's first goal and scores 11. Centre wing out of side of the ground Keane for Fitzroy purser over the back gets the tap down towards Royal fed out by Harris to Tilly and Tilly kicks it towards full forward in front, McGrath can't mark, punched away by Kellett. Richard Osborne there, over the top. Shot for goal, will bounce through for a goal to Fitzroy. Badly needed one, first goal to Osborne. It's McGrath against Purser, who's dominated the rucks. Trying to go through there was Mitchell up. Nice hand pass, though, to Conlon. Out to Clayton, who shoots for goal, and he's put it through. And that was some nice play then by uh, Fitzroy, and a good hand pass, and that may give the uh, Lions a little bit of heart. Fitzroy trailing miserably by 63 points. Kicker of the football is Clayton, kicks it in towards the uh, front of the goal square. Good high mark taken by Pert. And there is little reaction even from Fitzroy supporters in the outer from that mark because the Lions have played miserably so far in this match. And the result is on the scoreboard. They trail by 63 points, 23 minutes into the third quarter. Gary Perth, punts for goal. Goal umpire moves across slightly, but it's a goal to Fitzroy. And Gary Perth registers his first goal. Fitzroy sixth. Fitzroy 6-4-40. Trailing by 57 points. The Bulldogs are 15-7-97. Now, Egan will go for a run. Has a little look around. Decides to kick long to half forward again. Oh! Great mark to Paul Rouge. 
Hawkins in with a chance again, trying to be a little bit too clever. Outnumbered three Fitzroy players. It's probably one of the only times during the day that they've done it. Turner comes clear and kicks at the half forward for Fitzroy. Rance is there for Footscray, but Conlon breaks clear, crashes through a hardy tackle, and Conlon goes goalwards with a big long kick. It's offline and a behind to Fitzroy. He goes back, looks further afield, gets the lead. From McGrath, fisted away from him. Laurie is there. Clayton, a quick kick. It's Pekin. Pert from 55 metres out. Shoots for goal. Osborne can shove it. And it's a beautiful goal to Gary Pert. Oh, and a good uh, tackle then uh, by uh, Mitchell. But uh, Footscray not deterred, come through as McIver tries to get it. Now, this is something positive as Barwick has it now. Over the top to Osborne. No, Barwick decides to fake the dummy and have a shot for goal. And he's put it through. Well, Barwick has decided to do it all by himself and he's kicked his second goal. And he and Gary Pert are the only multiple goal kickers for the Bulldogs. Players bunched in the centre, waiting for the breakaway. Yes, and it's on over to Mick Conlon, who can uh, run as far as he wishes. And will. Yes. Now he should look up forward. Well, this is quite a run from Conlon. He gets a hand pass across on that occasion to Mitchell, into the side this week. Mitchell looking for Quinlan. Quinlan in the Good front Good, strong position. mark. Bernie... The Bernie of old would have no trouble with the distance. He decides to play on, go for the pass. Moore gets the tap down. Ruse keeps the ball in play, taps it out cleverly. Scotty Clayton with the ball, swings it back in, centres it. Melbourne player in the front position, and it is Greg Healy. Finally picked up and kicked forward then by Dixon. Scotty Clayton with the ball. Clayton's left foot kick into Woods, full forward. Could have been a mark then. The umpires come in and paid it. A Fitzroy mark down there. I think that could be Doug Barwick at yes, the back. Is. And uh, Doug Barwick copped a bit of punishment then. He's built along the same lines as Mickey Conlon. He doesn't like to be referred to as that, Stephen. I didn't say... I just said he was built along the same lines. Like the Queen Mary and the Queen Elizabeth. All right, then. I believe I was talking to Doug the other night, and he doesn't like to be... Compared. Uh, compared, yeah. He thinks he's an individual in his own right. And he, he certainly is. is. Straight in front, uh, probably 15 metres out. Shouldn't have any trouble posting Fitzroy's first goal of the afternoon. And has done so. Well, it's taken 36 minutes to come. Doug Barwick. And that was a good mark. Good, solid mark. He stood his ground. The Melbourne players might have complained. But Barwick just stood there. And uh, the umpire did the right thing. And the conversion was right on. Fitzroy moved to 1-1-7. They trail Melbourne by 40 points on the pro football scoreboard here at VFL Park. The ball with Nigel Cole, hotly tackled by his Fitzroy opponent. Harris across to Osborne. Here's a chance now for Osborne. He'll have a good run and then centre the ball, looking for Doug Barwick. And Barwick has the chance to kick his second goal and Fitzroy's second at the 11 and a half minute mark of the second quarter. Good piece of play then by Osborne. Yeah, intelligent play. Uh, often a bit, often uh, likes to do a bit too much with the ball. But often likes investigating the goals, as you say, exactly, Steve. Exactly, but this time he's investigated Doug Barwick. And Doug Barwick has the chance now to kick the Lions' second goal. Unselfish he's, play then. It by was Richard. unselfish play. And this guy's a terrific kick of the football. Let's have a look at his drop punt. About 65 yards long. One point. Drifted across the goal face. He's got a lovely kicking style, Doug Barwick. Very long penetrating kick. Excellent uh, drop punt. Waiting for Melbourne to put the ball out through Yates. The short pass is on. Over to Stephen Stretch. Stretch's kick wide. Underneath then was Paul Payne. The ball over the boundary line. There's David Allday. Who I've been quite impressed with. He's into the side... Uh, taking over the rucking duties and letting Peter Moore concentrate on defence. Half forward flank members side of the ground all day in the front position. Big Bernie Quinlan goes over the top. Coming out with the ball is Dean Turner. Turner runs towards the boundary line. Could very well have stepped over the line. Great mark taken by Doug Barwick. Excellent play. Dean Turner elected to centre the ball then under pressure. And Doug Barwick happened to be in the right position at the right time and a good strong mark.
Good play by Dean Turner. He's playing well. He is playing well. Usually a wingman has been uh, our back pocket player for a number of weeks and doing well. That's a better looking kick from Doug Barwick. That's the Lions second. They move to 2 2 14 and they trail Melbourne by 34 points. The Demons, 7 goals, 6 48 on the Pro Football scoreboard here at VFL Park. 13 minutes into the game and Gary Pert wanders up from fullback to take up what looks like to be, looks like a uh, centre half forward position. Michael Reeves has come onto the ground and will be fullback for Fitzroy on John Fidge. Gary Pert centre half forward and Bernie Quinlan back to full forward and Craig McGrath off. Expert comments from Fitzroy's Laurie Serafini, who's joined the Pro Football staff today. Take momentarily. It. Momentarily, he'll be back in action next week. It's nice to be up here out of the cold. Well, it's not all that warm up here, we might add. Harris gets the ball, goes forward. O'Sullivan. Demons haven't scored a goal this quarter after a brilliant first quarter. Messy football. Harris, and he's been a good player. Hand pass then from Turner onto Osborne. He'll have a run. He'll have a shot this time. Bernie Quinlan in the square. He's got right the in the top position. And Bernie Quinlan. Good, strong mark. He's a matter of two metres out. One of Bernie's favourite distances, this. Good play by Dean Turner. On to Richard Osborne and uh, a good strong mark by Bernie Quinlan. Quinlan playing game number 361, comes in for goal number 794 and makes absolutely no mistake. He'll go for the torpedo. That's a on to whopping that one. one too. He'll be more than happy with that and kick to kick. And standing his ground right underneath is uh, one of the best defenders in this country, Paul Roos. Boy from Beverly Hills. Yes. Lovely pass too and he finds Richard Osborne. Comes through with the arm up. Protecting himself. Naturally. And uh, Richard Osborne, I don't know if he'll look for a pass on this occasion or he might kick for goal. You might investigate the possibilities of a goal there, Stephen. Well, I think he might put this one right through. Richard Osborne. High kick, a long kick, and straight through the middle. Fitzroy's fourth. They move to 4 3 27. They're halfway to Melbourne, score of 8 6 54. 23 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Tilly gets the tap on. Fitzroy are away this time. They go wide. Stephen Stretch again after that long run. Hasn't had time to catch his breath, but I don't think he minds. It's amazing what a goal will do. He'll have plenty of time to think about that one. Yates comes out with it. Slips at the vital moment. Mitchell gets the hand pass out. McGrath over to Laurie. Back to Conlon. Here go the Lions. He one can run bounce. into goal. He can run into goal here. He'll have a shot and a goal. Nicky Conlon knows where the goals are. And Conlon kicks his first. Fitzroy moved to 5 3 33. 11 and a half minutes into this third quarter. Melbourne 12 7 79. Good effort by Michael Conlon. Yes, he'll have a drink of water just to get his breath back. And Fitzroy will need a couple more of uh, Michael Conlon type runs to get them back into the game. Laurie's pass. Fitzroy players spoil each other. David Parkin wouldn't like that one little bit. The pass into Bernie Quinlan's a beauty. Quinlan gets one in his uh, back. ribs. Yes, he's good. Like that either. No, he didn't like that at all. Good Bernie play can, by, sorry, Bernie can have a bit of time off uh, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday to, to get over that one. If he kicks a goal. Nothing wrong with that goal. Straight through the middle. David Parkin by now would be uh, calling for some more Valium pills, I dare say. I wouldn't be saying too much because when he sits back and watches this tape and listens to your comments, he might think that perhaps you should do with a little bit of warming up this week on the track. Big, uh, I'm looking forward to playing. OK, the ball out of the centre to Barwick. Barwick, a long kick. He's looking for Quinlan or Osborne. It's a great mark to Osborne. And Fitzroy go into this final quarter trailing by 46 points as David Alday comes in to contest the ruck with Michael Reeves. Reeves gets a tap down to Conlon. They need quick goals, Fitzroy, if there to be any chance. They've had a look at the, at the uh, three-quarter time scoreboard and have seen that there's a place in the five waiting for them. Quinlan can't take the mark. Melbourne clear. Conlon underneath it again, and Mickey Conlon takes the mark. Been an inspiring leader today, Mickey. Goes for the short pass, goes wide. It's a lovely pass, and it's taken by McGrath. This is Craig McGrath. He's um, 40 metres out. Within kicking distance. Has tried all day and uh, been in front, but uh, Peter Moore punched the ball away on a number of occasions. 
his sixth senior game going for the sixth goal of his career it's a good looking one too and that's the way the Lions wanted to start I'd say straight down the middle favoring maybe this uh, member stand looking for ruse great mark to Paul ruse excellent mark the camera angle didn't quite show how high he went up said on that occasion it was up by Howlett right on the scene spotted that one hand pass comes across there to Dean Turner he kicks wide he's got Mickey Conlon loose Conlon onto the left foot again short pass that looks better to uh, Richard Osborne that was beautiful disposal Osborne a good lead in front of Duell Richard Osborne normally a great kick for goal he's only 25 metres out 45 degree angle the Blues haven't scored as yet we've been playing over nine and a half minutes Osborne breaks away let's go with a kick towards goal it is going to be a goal I think yes it's true Fitzroy get their first goal in fact the first goal of the game kicked by Richard Osborne of Fitzroy kicked off the ground down it comes to Thornton who's Jack said is doing well and he is barging in again Ross Thornton a very honest player there's Leon Harris and talk about honesty oh here he is I like this little kid he can play onto the left foot Dwyer oh beautiful kick to Richard Osborne she's a good little I know it's only, we've only been going 19 minutes, but that kid impresses me, and it's good to see Fitzroy bring up another young kid. Right, Richard Osborne taking this shot from about 45 metres from where he'll kick. Five possessions to young Dwyer. Doing well, as Peter McKenna said. Now, if Osborne can kick straight, Fitzroy go back in front. I think he's done it. Yes, another goal to Fitzroy's Osborne. Not another goal for him, but another goal to Fitzroy through Osborne. And Carlton, one point in front of Fitzroy. Another chance for Hinchin. Sockers off the oh. ground. That was a great pass if he meant it. Taken by Blakey. Blakey to Dwyer without a, any opposition. Dwyer on the half-back plate. The ball might come up to him. He did, but he got the fumbles, and he still got them too. Dwyer with the ball on the half-back line. Going short to Ruse, who's made good position. He can hand pass in now towards Conlon. He can go out wider if he wanted. He's going to back himself against Meldrum. He goes towards goal. And he's got it. That's a nice piece of work set up by Dwyer. He brings it down towards half forward. Over the back, a chance for Graham Hinchin to Thornton. They're backing up well. Over it comes to uh, Hinchin again as he gets it out wide to young Dwyer. I, I reckon he's nearly best man on the ground, this kid. He's At the moment, Mark go. Dwyer, off he goes. Oh, get rid of it, son. He tried to do too much. Oh, he should have kicked it as long as he could. Bit of pressure applied now by McIver. McIver being held, takes the ball away. Gee, Carlton looking slow. It might be that Tuesday night's game taking effect. The hand pass comes away. Here's a chance for Harris to give the ball down to Dwyer. Now Dwyer's got the half-forward flank to himself. He gets the fumbles also. Hand passes back. It comes over to Peek and to Loken. Loken will be looking for Osborne. Osborne's opposed to Duel. Osborne's there. Can't take the mark. The goals are open. He can't get around. The left foot shot's on. He can't hook it far enough. And it's through for only one behind. Oh, thinking was good. Arms a short one. Loken, well done to Reeves. Reeves a hand pass, or oh, an ordinary one. Looking for Clayton. Alvin's there also. Backing up is Mickey Conlon. Conlon's got it. Hooks it back. Duel and Osborne. Oh, here's a chance over to Little Dewire. Dewire into the open goal. Stabs. Oh, that was beautiful football by Fitzroy. Chance for Carlton here from 50 metres out. Oh, straight to Turner, who's had a very good day. And that's a good mark. A good mark there to McIver. The hand pass to Barwick. Barwick caught. Hand passes it away. Good play to Pekin. Pekin over the top. The little mark. The wire has been a terrific. Uh, kick it, son. He's now he's going for the hand pass. He finds Billy Loken, who sprints in from the 50 metre line. He's looking for Osborne. Osborne and Duel. And Duel takes it through for a point. Madden down to the ground. The wire. Oh, good roving by the little fella on the right foot. The Osborne. Yes. He's marked it now. Difficult he is shot. right on the boundary line. He should try and centre. No, he's going for the left foot snap at goal. He's oh, got that it. is a great goal. That is a top goal by Richard Osborne as he slams through his fourth. And Fitzroy are doing it well. The scoreboard. Fitzroy after an intelligent goal. 7-8-50. Leading Carlton 4-6-30. Very good goal indeed. I suppose that would be the best goal we've seen kicked today by, uh, by anybody. But Richard Osborne has kicked four of the goals of... Uh, Fitzroy's total of 7-8. This looks good for Carlton. Oh, he's gone. Yes. 
There's DeWire against Murphy. Young DeWire has been a terrific competitor today. He's still going, the young fella. Oh, good play. He still took that right up to the fourth bucket, a half point play, and he's getting a standing ovation from the Fitzroy supporter. Uh, let's see Perth's kicking off again. It's been magnificent so far. Here we go again out wide. He's got two loose men to give it to. You better hurry up and get it before uh, the line. Well, they've only got Madden to beat here, so they had three small men against Madden. They were certain to get it though, when the ball was kicked wide. Here they go, Fitzroy. The kick is towards half forward. Thumped on by Williamson was good play to McIver. Good play, McIver. Over to Conlon. Mickey Conlon to Logan. Logan, another hand pass to Mark DeWire. DeWire into the open goal. He steps. And the young fellas pull it through for another one to Fitzroy. What a handy goal. Well, Brewster was caught in no man's land there. He had Wire coming into the open goal. He had Osborne dropping back behind him. So had Dill gone out to meet DeWire, the hand pass would have come over the top and Osborne would have kicked his fifth. But that didn't happen. DeWire kicked his second goal. And now it's Fitzroy, 8-8-56. Carlton, 4-8-32 on Sevens Big League from VFL Park. I said the umpire's grabbed by Bradley, who seems to be back in the centre. Up towards Hinchin for Fitzroy. And, oh, boy, are they playing well, this Fitzroy defence? A little short one to Reeves. Reeves should kick it. Now he goes for the hand pass towards Blakey. Blakey, another hand pass. Here's the little fella, Mark DeWire. He's got it on half forward flank. Swings around onto the left foot. He goes for the little chip pass towards full forward. Madden over the top, punches it away. Barwick brings it towards half back. It's grabbed by Dean. Dean on the left foot, but there's a good mark. Graham Williamson, the big ruckman, ducks back to take a strong mark at the, in the fullback area for Fitzroy. And he might have hurt himself. The danger for Fitzroy. Perth and Kernahan. Here's a go. Kernahan in the forward pocket. Can't make contact. Pynchon's hand pass not good. Pert comes through. I thought he may have been tipped. His hand pass isn't much chop either. Taken by Turner. Kicked back to the half-back line. Oh, Thornton pushed in the back. Picked up by Reeves. The hand pass comes out. That was Clayton got the ball moving down. And now it's Fitzroy coming forward from the wing position into Osborne. Osborne looking for a free kick against Dool. He's gained possession. The hand pass towards a wire. It got stuck in the mud. Glasgow came out with the ball. Kicks very high. It'll come to turf. No mark to Buckley. Buckley tries to get it out of the pack. Picked up by Osborne. Osborne looking for a lead, but there's no one home. He kicks to the half-forward zone. Connors braces himself. Alvin does the spoiling. On hands and knees, Alvin goes in. It's in that uh, Silvani's kick comes away. Up to the half-back zone. It sticks in the mud again. The hand pass from Meldrum comes to Fraser Murphy. He didn't take possession, nor did Harris, and the umpire will bounce.